Today is Tuesday, May 18th, 2021. Welcome to today's Daily Prayers. Our theme this week is Life in the Spirit. Let us pray. Ever watchful God who knows the heart and secret desires of all persons, search my heart, I pray. See if there be any harm in me, and lead me in your way forever. I pray in the name of your own gentle spirit. Amen. Our psalm this week is Psalm 104. Let my whole being bless true life. True life, my God, how fantastic you are. You are clothed in glory and grandeur. You wear light like a robe. You open the skies like a curtain. You build your lofty house on the waters. You make the clouds your chariot, going around on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers. You make fire and flame your ministers. You established the earth on its foundations so that it will never, ever fall. You covered it with the watery deep like a piece of clothing. The waters were higher than the mountains, but at your rebuke, they ran away. They fled in fear at the sound of your thunder. They flowed over the mountains, streaming down the valleys to the place you established for them. You set a boundary they cannot cross, so they'll never again cover the earth. You put gushing springs into dry riverbeds. They flow between the mountains, providing water for every wild animal. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. Overhead, the birds in the sky make their home, chirping loudly in the trees. From your lofty house, you water the mountains. The earth is filled full by the fruit of what you've done. You make grass grow for cattle. You make plants for human farming in order to get food from the ground and wine, which cheers people's hearts along with oil, which makes the face shine, and bread, which sustains the human heart. True life's trees are well watered, the cedars of Lebanon, which God planted, where the birds make their nests, where the stork has a home in the cypresses. The high mountains belong to the mountain goats. The ridges are the refuge of badgers, God made the moon for the seasons, and the sun too, which knows when to set. You bring on the darkness, and it is night, when every forest animal prowls. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they gather together and lie down in their dens. Then people go off to their work to do their work until evening. True life, you have done so many things. You made them all so wisely. The earth is full of your creations. And then there's the sea, wide and deep, with its countless creatures, living things, both small and large. There go the ships on it, and Leviathan, which you made, plays in it. All your creations wait for you to give them their food on time. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled, completely full. But when you hide your face, they are terrified. When you take away their breath, they die and 
return to dust. When you let loose your breath, they are created and you make the surface of the ground brand new again. Let true life's glory last forever. Let true life rejoice in all God has made. God has only to look at the earth and it shakes. God just touches the mountains and they erupt in smoke. I will sing to true life as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I'm still alive. Let my praise be pleasing to God. I'm rejoicing in true life. Let sinners be wiped clean from the earth. Let the wicked be no more. But let my whole being bless true life. Praise true life. Our daily scripture is Ephesians 3, verses 14 through 21. This is why I kneel before the Father. Every ethnic group in heaven or on earth is recognized by God. I ask that God will strengthen you in your inner selves from the riches of God's glory through the Spirit. I ask that Christ will live in your hearts through faith. As a result of having strong roots in love, I ask that you'll have the power to grasp love's width and length, height, and depth together with all believers. I ask that you'll know the love of Christ that is beyond knowledge so that you will be filled entirely with the fullness of God. Glory to God, who is able to do far beyond all that we can ask or imagine by God's power at work within us. Glory to God in the church and in Christ Jesus for all generations, forever and always. Amen. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. According to the Common English Bible, the author writes, Every ethnic group in heaven or on earth is recognized by God. Other translations say that every family on heaven and earth derives its name from God. In other words, in God's eyes we are all equal, no matter where we are from, no matter our nationality or ethnicity. Do your thoughts and actions toward others reflect this truth? The author's prayer is that we will all have the power to grasp love's width and length, height and depth, together with all believers. Take this time to meditate on the vastness of God's love for you and for all people.
the author assures us that God is able to do far beyond all that we could ask or imagine by God's power at work within us. How have you experienced this truth in your life? Do you trust this truth enough to ask God to do great things for God's kingdom through you? Today's reading comes from Every Bush is Burning by Joan Pools. I feel an urgency at this stage in my life to name the human expression and vivid manifestations of our life in the spirit. I believe that nothing human is foreign to the spirit. The spirit embraces all. Our mundane experiences contain all the stuff of holiness and of human growth and grace. Our world is rife with messages and signatures of the spirit. Our encounters with one another are potential sites of the awakening and energizing that characterize the spirit. So much goes unnoticed. We fail so often to recognize the light that shines through the tiny chinks and the dusty panes of our daily lives. We are too busy to name the event that is blessed in its ordinariness, holy in its uniqueness, and grace-filled in its underlying challenge. Let us pray. God, we are all one family in your eyes. Regardless of where we were born, the color of our skin, or any other basis, we are your children, and you love us, even before we claim your love for ourselves. Help us to love one another as you have loved us. We pray for those places in the world where some want to oppress others simply because of where they are from, what they look like, or what they believe. We especially lift up to you the people of the Middle East and ask you to bring your peace to Israel and the Palestinians. Help them to see one another through your eyes of love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Likewise, we pray for those in our own nation who feel superior to others and who seek to oppress or otherwise harm those who are different from them. May their eyes and hearts be open to know that you accept all as your beloved children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Yeah. 
We pray that we all might truly know the vastness of your love and that we might trust you to do great things among and within us as you bring about your kingdom on earth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Receive this prayer of benediction. Come upon me, Spirit of the living God. Melt all hardness of heart. Use me for your own purposes, wherever you are sending me now. Amen. Go in peace.